was a child, I was always very curious. Why is the night so dark? Why does it rain? And who decided that two will always come after one? No wonder my parents rightly named me Jigyasa. Jigyasa in Hindi means curiosity. As I grow, my curiosity seems to be growing by leaps and bounds. I am always looking for answers. I want to discover or rather rediscover my own country. Wow! A photo of my grandmother and her siblings. It must have been great fun to have 10 children to play with. And here I am, just one. I belong to Uttar Pradesh, a large state in India. It has a population that is more than the population of many small countries combined. I wonder how many people were there in my grandmother's time? Were there enough schools? Wait a minute, what about my great-great-grandmother? Was the population less in her time? Questions, questions, but where are the answers? I did visit various libraries to find answers to my numerous questions. They had information on a few senses and other material, but none of them could give me a complete information. Many of the books are not in good condition and those that are have already been issued. I wonder where can I get all the information I need at just one place? Just imagine the plight of people who are there in remote areas. What would they do to get such information? The librarian tells me that the libraries would have all the books that I need. But how do I get there? Let me look up their website. Wow, the library is so modern. Quite unlike those of all I have visited. I wonder how many books are there? Can I find a list anywhere? Let me see if the website has any details. Oh yes, there is a catalogue that lists census reports from 1872 to 1951. It says that new publications are being added every day and when completed would number nearly 7000. The scanned copy of these publications is also available online. What a treasure trove! I can now access any information I need sitting in my house. This is truly exciting. Jigyasa is lost finding answers to her million questions from the thousands of journals and reports in the library. The Indian census has taken a giant leap in the digital space. Terabytes of data are at a click's distance, thanks to the digital library project of the Census of India. The first census was conducted way back in 1872. Since then, census has been conducted every 10 years without a break. Come war, come epidemics, come any natural calamity, the census never pauses. The census in 2011 was the 15th in this unbroken series. The sheer scope and scale of this initiative is mind-boggling. So what information does the census provide? The census is a snapshot of population. It provides information on the population of different areas, age, structure, marital status, religion pursued, language spoken, educational attainment, economic activity, etc. Then the data presented in different censuses is analyzed to understand the profile of the population and changes occurred over the last census. Just imagine, in the 2011 census, about 2.5 million enumerators collected the data. A country like Qatar or Mauritius has a population less than this number. These enumerators visited every household in the country and collected information. Isn't it fair that this information should be available for use, preferably on the web? Whether it is universities, research scholars, governments, international donor agencies, non-governmental organizations, private and public entrepreneurs, in short, to everyone. The many people like Jigyasa who exist in our country. Jigyasa was facing practical problems in the library from the non-availability of census reports to the conditions of some of the older and discolored books. The longevity of books and the discoloration is bound to be an issue. Preservation is not an easy task. 
not to forget at times the careless handling of books by readers. So what then is the solution for a universal accessibility and availability? The solution arose from today's digital world where mobiles, internet, e-commerce are an essential part of daily life. What if all that I needed was available at a click? Digital was the key word. If India was going digital, so was the census. 2013 ORGI, the Office of the Registrar General and Census Commissioner India, took upon itself a gigantic task to archive all census reports published since 1872 by digitizing almost 3 million pages, be it census reports, maps, any other documents. Every published report was now to be made accessible through a digital library. The objective being long-term preservation and widespread use. This was done with the support of United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA. It was easier said than done. The task was an exhaustive one. The stages were many, both daunting and tedious. The work was done by a dedicated team in a scientific manner, following prescribed standards. The national archiving policy of the Government of India was the guiding light. Firstly, one needs to get a better understanding of the scope of work. अगर आपको कहा जाए रात में सितारे गिने तो शायद आप गिन भी सकेंगे लेकिन डिजिटाइजेशन का काम उससे भी बढ़कर हमने यहां 10000 से ज्यादा सेंसस रिकॉर्ड देश भर से इकट्ठा किया और उसके डिजिटाइजेशन के काम को शुरू किया डिजिटाइजेशन के लिए पहला कदम है रिकॉर्ड के बेसिस को बनाना उसके बाद हम स्कैनिंग के काम को शुरू करते हैं द प्लान वाज सेट नाउ फॉर द इंप्लीमेंटेशन पार्ट this involved setting up of a fully equipped digitization facility for carrying out the scanning, digitization and indexing activities. The selection of this equipment had an important impact on the quality of image. If you say that you have so many books, how much time do you have? We scan so many pages in one day. Now starts the scanning and digitization of the documents along with the detailing. Digital conversion selected materials were transformed to bitmapped images by scanner or digital camera. During image capture, these documents were read or scanned at appropriate resolution. Once all this is done, does it get uploaded immediately? No. Checking has to be done. Quality checks and validation of digitized material and checking of catalog data index in coordination with the census office team. A catalogue is also prepared to listing out titles of each census report, number of pages, etc. Finally, upload the final reports in PDF at the Census Digital Library on the Census of India website for free use. So, in summation, what did this task achieve? Preservation. Now that the documents are scanned, you will not need to handle the physical documents to that extent. Hence, the preservation of these is ensured. Improve accessibility. No more trips to the census library. Now the digitized documents are accessible to all, be it scholars, teachers, academicians and the general public just by clicking. Enhanced searchability. Now if a person like Jigyasa wants to know about the number of boys versus girls in a village in Uttar Pradesh at her grandmother's time, she can not only just access that but also other data linked to that. The census reports available in libraries at New Delhi and all state capitals, about 2.7 million pages have been digitized. The Census Digital Library is a pioneering attempt to provide a digital window to the socio, demographic, economic and cultural history of India and Indians over a century, 143 years and counting to be precise. Digital access to this treasure trove of information would be a dream come true for researchers and practitioners alike. Another feather in the cap of the Census of India and yet another step towards a digital India. Counting of people is the core business of UNFPA and you're probably all familiar with our tagline which is called because everybody counts. So the census in India is a very historical one and a very good one. It goes back to 1872. So digitalizing the census of India 
uh, allows researchers and policy making to look into the history, what have been the population patterns and trends. So we are very, uh, very happy on this partnership with the Office of the Register General, the Census Commissioner and the United Nations Population Fund because we think this historic moment of digitalizing the India Census is one of our greatest efforts which we have done over the last few years. I click to rediscover my past. I click to understand my present. I click to comprehend my tomorrow. A digital time machine to quench my curiosity. Which is what my name literally means. Jigyasa.